Hi Bozen here. Well, as you saw last week, I was trying to get to grips with the printer and I managed to print a few upgrade parts. So what I'm going to be looking to do is get them onto this today. And then hopefully if they do go on, I can then have a little look and see has it made any difference. But the first step to doing this will be cleaning up these bits. Now I don't need a lot of work, but I'm gonna give them a quick little once over. So let's get on with that. Okay, time to tidy these up. Uh, as you can see, this one has come out actually really quite well. There's not a lot of cleanup to be done on this one. There's a little bit here. This back bit did uh, get a little bit of um, distortion on there when it was printing, because obviously it was trying to do a like a 45 degree angle print. But I'm not bothered about tidying that up. I just want to tidy up the holes on here just to make sure that these holes that are on here coming out of that are all clear. So I'm going to be using some of these files I showed you the other week. And all I need to do to go in here is I'm using a little triangular one. And I'm just going to... Oh, there we go. I'm not going to try and file too much because I don't want to uh, ruin the look with a lot of uh, sandy bit when it doesn't need it. So just break a few of the boogers. To be honest, that's all I really want to do with that one. That one, I was, like I said, I was really happy with that. These were point printed on a 0 0.10 layer height, if I remember correctly. So that's why I think this has come out so good. Now, obviously, this one didn't come out so nice this is going to take a little bit more work but not a lot so let me just get into this I'm literally just gonna do that okay and that should best as I can tell fit on there now it's got a bit of spreading there when I do that. If I push on that, we can see that these are splaying out a little bit, but I'm not worried about that. Okay, so now I've very, very quickly tidied these up. Uh, I'm now gonna quickly move on to trying to see if I can make them fit on there. And does this actually work? So here's the printer here. I'm gonna move this camera over there now, and we're gonna be switching back to that one for a close up view. Rightio, this is basically, this bracket here is going to replace this red element here. And then hopefully this should plug into the bottom of the squirrel cage fan here, which will then hopefully have this around there at the right height. If it's not, then I'll have to go back to the drawing board, but well, let's see. So first need to loosen this off. Come on. And this one off. Obviously it goes without saying, don't try and do this if you've just been printing with it recently and the hot end's hot, because they'll be Mr. Burning right about now, which is not good. So yes, make sure this is cold when you do this. It's the kind of dumb thing that I would do normally though. Somewhere is those two nuts. Sorry, my head's gonna probably get in front of the camera right now. Well, there's one. Don't know where the other one's gone. Oh, there it is. So I found that laying on there and that one in the fan. Well, at least I found them. Now the big, big test. Does this fit this? Kind of. But I know the holes line up. Even though that my E-steps uh, of my XY and all that bed are not 100% calibrated. And the problem I'm having is this bit here with that bit there it's not going down in between that gap because of this little hinge part here so let's just have a little look how much do I need it to get in there by make a nut notch where it's got to go and now I'm just gonna quickly file away a little bit here okay I've now managed to just I think fight that into submission and now they miss that entirely so it wasn't what I thought before of screwing through and into that I think what's going to be happening is taking up 
one of the spare ones of these I should hopefully have putting it through and then tightening it up and that's going to clamp onto that that's what I think the plan is let's just try and get this back on here first oh This is bringing back old memories. Now this bloody awkward little one under here. Aha, gotcha. Now let's just see if this is getting anywhere near the, Oh, does look like that is literally just fractionally, like less than a mil or so away from the tip of the hot end, height wise. If for some reason it's a bit low, then I'll just have to file around that area a little bit so it'll go up in further. But first I now need to find something that will go in there and tighten up. I don't think I have anything that long, I'm not sure. So, what do I do now? So what am I going to do in a situation like this is I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a cable tie, just for now see if this will work there we have it we've taken the old piece off which I've got to admit is very nicely printed so whoever printed this one really knew how to get these things set up right so hoping to get mine as good as that sometime soon but for now I've just used a cable tie on there to squish that in okay so now they are fitted on there even if it is with a slight cable tie variant I'm now going to uh, try and do another one of these little babies, the uh, 30 by 30, which turns into the 10 by 10 going up 30 high, because this is a piece I have had the heat issue with and it melting it, etc. So I feel this is a good piece because this is a piece I've consistently every time had an issue. I'm now going to print another one of these. And then once I've done that, I'll come back to you. Okay, we have now finished printing that test piece. And well, let's have a little look through the previous test pieces first. Okay, so first off, last week, the first one I printed was this one here. And as you can see, this is like the front part here. There was um, some deformation here, but at the back where the cooler couldn't get to, there was quite a lot of deformation and it never quite uh, finish the top off so that was when I then switched to the slicer software tweak the settings some more and this was the second one I then printed last week which the front looked fine tiny little deformation there but when you came round to the back then you were back in the same problem we had before which was the uh, defamation and what have you. you can tell by the shininess that obviously something else was happening there but it did at least do a good job on the top and you can tell there oh if you look there you can see the fact that it's got the different uh, hexagon pattern in it instead of the squares patterns in that one maybe you can see that maybe you can't now let's go on to the one I have just done with the new uh, fan shroud part and here we have a little look at it from the front and you can see looking very nice and clean and then come around here still nice and clean and sharp <coughs> and still nice and clean and sharp so as you can see that has been an amazing improvement that fan shroud so uh, now there is one tiny little hole just down here I don't know if you can see it there so it's not like it's perfect but 
we've moved forward and it is looking a lot lot better if i st change some settings some more to make a little bit more thickness on the tops and the bottom i think it will help out a lot on that now the only one other little thing that i have currently still got a slight issue with if i bring all these uh to here like that i don't know if you can see it there on the thing but on the first one there was a cur it curved up on the base and the second one it curved quite and now this one has lifted only ever so slightly let's see if i can find something to put put these against so you can kind of see them better so you can see the first one was lifted a bit the second one lifted quite a lot last week but this one now you can see it's pretty much flat on there's only a tiny tiny little gap on that front corner when it's uh, sat flat on the ground if any of you guys know kind of what's causing it to curl up and what have you obviously hit me up in the comments below and we can have a little look and try and figure out how to get around that little problem was this worth printing these bits and fitting them most definitely it's definitely helped out it's definitely brought this around a lot and it's i use the exact same g-code file i did for the uh one the second one last week so th this one here the new one is using the exact same g-code file all the settings were the same and so it just proves one on one same for same it did a lot better job on it and that little hole that's in there there is actually a little sign of it on there so it could be something to do more with my model creation technique than anything else that is something i want to look into but i like this as a test piece because it's one that's always given me issues every i've never printed a perfect one yet so for me that's actually quite a nice little test piece because if it's i've never managed to print a perfect one yet then it's a good way of keep tweaking it until i do get a perfect one earlier on when i said oh i might have to file away around that ridge where the bit pushes into the squirrel cage fan this bit here where it goes into there i did have to so where that went into there i did have to um take that back out because the first pass it did that circular part was far too close to the desk at the top and it caught on the filament it was laying and dragged it all up so i was trying to file and it just wasn't going to take enough material away to lift it up far enough so i cracked out yet again another top tool which is the dremel the dremel came out and i just managed to just shave them down so that would just slot further into the squirrel cage fan i took about a millimeter and a half ish i didn't do like a precise measurement or anything i just eyeballed it and i think i got that just right in the end so it's just a minute gap between the filament and uh, that's being laid down and obviously the cooler fan bit because obviously the filament if it's laid down hot and it sticks to that fan bit it is the same stuff it will fuse to it and that's why I, when i had the stuff stick to it last time and it caught up i did have to do a bit of clean up on the the ring piece <laughs> as a ring piece so i had to do a little bit of a clean up on that to make to get rid of all the bits that were now stuck to the bottom but luckily that i got to them quite quick they didn't have time to properly fuse in or anything so they came off quite easily well there we go we have one upgrade now done to the printer and it is now printing a lot better i'm a lot happier now with the output of this i'm feeling a lot more confident with the machine now and this is going to push me forward there's still quite a few things that i want to do to it so keep your eyes peeled on this channel for that up and coming um if you want to catch me up on twitter or a like you know hit me up on the usual bit there and i hope to see you again next week bye <laughs>